Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. Here you'll find the most awesome collection of facts about every single country on Earth. Today we take a look at Australia's Norfolk Island. Click on this playlist to watch the rest of the series. Before we begin, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. I upload 3 times a week, every week. Norfolk Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean, located between Australia, New Zealand and New Caledonia. Together with the two neighboring islands, Philip and Nepean, it forms one of the Commonwealth of Australia's external territories. This is not a barren, uninhabited place. On the contrary, it's a beautiful, lush green place with a unique local population of about 1,750 people. It's been in the hands of Australia since 1914, when the United Kingdom handed it over to be administered as an external territory. This tiny rocky outcrop in the middle of the Pacific Ocean is still technically a territory under Australian control, but it's home to its own highly distinctive way of life. It is a blend of the English and Tahitian cultures, giving the island a unique atmosphere. Whether it's learning about the colonial history, swimming through the offshore reefs, or simply going fishing in the local waters, there's so much to see and do on Norfolk Island. Thanks to some American early settlers from the 1880s, American holidays like Thanksgiving are a big deal too. It looks like the ideal place to live, and it has become a major tourist destination. So much so, that today, tourism is the territory's main source of income. On a side note, here's one funny fact. On Norfolk Island, cows have right of way, not cars. Norfolk Island was once settled by East Polynesian seafarers from around New Zealand. They arrived in the 13th or 14th century and survived for several generations before disappearing. They must have disappeared at least a few hundred years before Europeans arrived, as the island was covered with forest by then. Norfolk Island began its colonial life as a penal colony, and later became home to the famous Bounty Mutineers. After the mutineers began new lives in exile on Pitcairn Island with their Polynesian wives, it was their family and descendants that eventually set up camp on Norfolk, where many of the modern residents are also descendants of the original mutineers. Bounty Day, one of the most important holidays on the island, celebrates the birth of the current unique Norfolk culture and is the island's most important historical event. As I said, Norfolk is a unique place. But it isn't just their culture that's distinctive. They actually have their own language called Norfolk. The language is a blend of 18th century English and Tahitian, originally introduced by Pitcairn-speaking settlers from the Pitcairn Island. Along with English, it is the co-official language of Norfolk Island. The Norfolk language is decreasing in popularity as more tourists travel to the island and more young people leave for work and study. However, there are efforts to keep it alive via dictionaries and the renaming of some tourist attractions to their Norfolk equivalents. Probably one of the most notable one is the Rainforest Walk, which is called A Trip in a Stick. Kingston is the capital of this Australian territory. The town is the second oldest in Australia and is of great historical and cultural significance to all Norfolk Islanders and other Australians. The town was founded on March 6, 1788 by 23 settlers, only a few weeks after the establishment of the British penal colony of New South Wales. It is undoubtedly one of the most charming and quiet capitals in Australia, surrounded by rolling hills, forests and the ocean. So as I said, Norfolk Island is a prime tourist destination of Australia. But getting there isn't easy. To get there from the Australian mainland, there are only two flights a week from Sydney and Brisbane. This immediately presents a problem for the supply runs. 
Supplies from the mainland come via ship but only once a month and offloading the cargo can be quite an adventure due to the rugged coastline which requires large ships to anchor at least one kilometer offshore. If the weather is bad, tough luck, the ships will sail on to their next destination, leaving the island without supplies. But the locals aren't too worried about this. Nearly all locals produce their own fresh produce. Owing to the island's strict quarantine rules, designed to protect the island's delicate ecosystem of unique plants and fruits, the only freshly grown foods that are imported are potatoes, garlic, ginger and brown onions. All other food is grown on island by locals and therefore the seasons dictate availability. That's not to say that there is any shortage of lush and plentiful foodstuffs, as well as a wealth of tropical fruits. The customs laws of the island are very strict and designed to protect the native ecosystem. Incredibly, these laws managed to protect the island from annoying pests like snakes, centipedes, sandflies or even fruit flies. Sadly, they couldn't keep cockroaches out though. While the wildlife is not so distinctive from elsewhere, there are 51 unique plant species. The Norfolk Pine is one of the most famous and it's held in high regard by the locals. Sadly though, there are several introduced plants that have invaded the island and most of the rainforest that once covered Norfolk is now gone, giving way to pastures and housing. These were 7 facts about Norfolk Island. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.